given that x squared plus y squared equals 8,768, where x and y are positive integers, find x plus y. This video contains the following sections. Reading the problem carefully and understanding it. Developing a plan to solve it. Solving the problem. Thinking about it further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Near the end of the video, there's an additional question which can be solved using a similar approach to that used for solving the specific problem. If you find these helpful, please subscribe to the channel for notification of new videos by pressing the video watermark in the right hand corner of the video player. Two positive integer variables satisfy an equation. Find the sum of these positive integers. In general, to find these positive integers, it's useful to narrow down the range of possible integers. Example, by checking the parity of the variables, especially the larger numbers. However, an effective method for solving this kind of problems may vary from problem to problem. For this problem as 8,768 is divisible by 4. So both x and y must be even by letting x equal to m and y equal to n. The original equation will be converted to a simpler one in m and n. Repeat the process until the right hand side of the equation isn't divisible by 4. Work out m, n, and substitute these back to work out x, y, and therefore x plus y. Because 8,768 is even. So x, y must have the same parity because 8,768 is divisible by 4. So both x and y must be even. Let x equal to n, y equal to n. We have 4m squared 
equals four n squared equals eight thousand seven hundred and sixty eight. So m squared plus n squared equals two thousand one hundred and ninety two because four divides two thousand one hundred and ninety two so both n and n must be even let n equal to t n equal to s we have 40 squared plus 4s squared equals 2192 so t squared plus s squared equals 548 because 4 divides 548 so both t and s must be even let t equal to u s equal to b we have 4u squared plus 4b squared equals 548. So the sum of u squared and b squared equals 137. Suppose u is greater than or equal to b is greater than zero. We have u squared is less than or equal to the sum of u squared and b squared is less than or equal to two u squared. So u squared is less than or equal to 137 is less than or equal to 2u squared. So 68 is less than or equal to u squared is less than or equal to 137. 8 is less than or equal to u is less than or equal to 11. If u equals 8, b squared equals 137 minus 64 equals 73 which isn't a perfect square. If u equals nine, b squared equals 137 minus 81 equals 56, which isn't a perfect square. If u equals 10 b squared equals 137 minus 100 equals 37 which isn't a perfect square if u equals 
Eleven. B squared equals one hundred and thirty-seven minus one hundred and twenty-one equals sixteen. So B equals four. X equals two M equals two times two T equals two times two times two U, which is equal to eight U, which is equal to eight times eleven, which is eighty-eight. Y equals two N equals two times two S equals two times two times two B, which is equal to eight B, which is equal to eight times four. Which is thirty-two, because x and y are symmetrical, so x equals thirty-two, y equals eighty-eight. Also, satisfy the equation. So the sum of X and Y equals eighty-eight plus thirty-two, which is a hundred and twenty. Think about the thought process for the previous question further, and try to apply the approach to other problems, such as this one. Given that the sum of u squared and b squared is five thousand and two hundred, where u and v are positive integers, find the sum of u. And B. You can write your answers in the comments section if you like. If you have any mathematics questions of interest, you can write these in the comments section if you like. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.